Thank you, Lou. Just a couple of thoughts on that. If somebody wishes to be skeptical, think about this. The two towers collapse. Hell. Right? How could you even navigate through that morass? Building 7 is not even touched. It drops in its footprint, which means that it had charges on its foundation studs. According to the, P the PBS video, which is there for everybody, several facts came forward, including men in demolition who both found a transponder one day and then the next, never made it into the testimony. But specifically about Building 7 alone, who put the charges in? And how could they have done it then? Forget everything else, just that. Why is it that the only video we have of the Pentagon explosion is from a very distant parking lot? And I've got something for you, a question of logic from the standpoint of physics and force and energy. If I drive into your living room with my car, why is your furniture on the lawn? We did it. Thermite crystals were found in all the dust in all the private homes and the apartment buildings around the site. Every time they were tampering with a forensic site and clearing it from a satellite documentation, you see heat spots, heat spots, heat spots constantly. If you can't trust the firemen who forfeited their lives in that event, and those who survived, they said, they saw lava flows of iron. Jet fuel burns approximately 1,700 degrees. Iron will not melt until something like 2,800. It's bullshit, gang. Why? It's called deflection. Deflection like the First World War that I mentioned earlier dealing with an individual from Serbia as an anarchist. It was all in motion. Deflect, deflect, deflect. The dark state views the presidency as an office as a temporary job. They have an agenda, and it's well entrenched. 